Hey guys, happy Tuesday, and we are on our deadlift day. We're going back to that superset of some explosive movement, deadlifts plus seated box jumps. So again, we've been doing this for a few weeks over this cycle. The deadlifts, remember, focus on the nice flat back. The traditional deadlift will be feet right under the hips. Okay, before you lift that bar, you wanna make sure that you have your low back set, so we don't wanna be rounded here, right? Nice flat back, nice long spine. Squeeze at the top, and also try to control the way down. Okay, so try not to come here and then just relax or drop the bar, right? I try to keep that good tension, reset at the bottom, squeeze for five reps, okay? Again, if this is your first time starting an area you're comfortable, if you've been coming in, just build on the weight you've been doing. You're gonna go right from these into the seated box jump. So again, focus on exploding high, started seated. We're gonna swing, explode up as high as we can, okay? So this box is relatively low for me. If you notice, I caught my body really high. So I jumped as high as I could out of that seated position, okay? We don't wanna jump and you know, just get your feet on the box. The goal is really just get your body weight as high as you can, really pushing through those legs and being explosive, all right? So this is gonna be our first superset. From here, we're going into uh, a little bit of cardio gymnastics work. So the workout is gonna have ring muscle ups, one of the most challenging things that we do. I'm not gonna demo all the variations, but we want you to pick something. We're only gonna have a two minute window to get some work done. So choose a variation or reps that you can do unbroken and quickly. So for ring muscle ups, if you think about it, it's like a big swing on the rings. It's like a pull up and then you go into a dip, okay? So there's a, a couple variations of this that you can do. You could do a, a burpee pull up, okay? Which gets a push and a pull. All right, we can just work on doing maybe pull-ups or chest-to-bar pull-ups is totally fine. Um, or you could just work on dips, okay? But we're gonna do some variation of that ring muscle up for unbroken set. From there, we're gonna go to the bike and do again, a number of calories. We can keep good intensity. And then the score of the workout will be how many wall walks that you can do. So wall walk, remember, is gonna be against the wall, starting laying on the floor. You sit back. Big step up, and then walk our hands all the way to the wall, walk back forward, and that is one rep, okay? So if you're not comfortable going all the way up, the simplest one you can do is a butt to wall, is basically keep your feet on the ground, walk up so your butt touches the wall, and then walk back down. That's a variation almost anybody can do. If you're not comfortable there, you can start your hands back a little bit further, step up, and just try to move your hands one or two steps, and then come back down, okay? So again, just try to get strong and comfortable in that position. Focus on keeping your chin tucked and hips high. Um, do as many reps as you can each round. So that's gonna be our part one. Part two is more accessory work, so focus on some quality here. I wanna point out two movements. Uh, this is, a, again, a deadlift posterior chain hamstring glute kind of day, all right? So we did these a couple weeks ago. These are very challenging, is the um, hamstring slide on the rower. So the way this looks, get, get your butt really close up to the edge of the rower, okay? You're gonna start by lifting your hips up and then try to keep your hips high as you slide your legs out and forward. Try not to let the hips drop as you go back and forth, right? Really work on keeping those hips high. So if you need to scale the number of reps or break it up into two sets, that's fine. But focus on that good high hip position. We're gonna couple this with also a weighted glute bridge, so on the ground, same exact concept, now put a dumbbell at the hip, heels are towards the butt, and you're gonna drive, again, work that top position, squeeze your butt. So getting a good posterior chain workout today, guys. That will be it, see you tomorrow.